When I first wanted to post some content on YouTube, I had some ideas and uh, I wanted to share them with everyone actually. But it's one thing to have an idea and it's another thing to shoot the idea and then edit the idea. And I think the most tedious part of the process is the editing. And so today I want to give back to the community. I want to give back to the content creators out there. And this video is going to be about how to edit faster by creating your own animated title preset in Final Cut Pro. So this is for Final Cut Pro users. All right, you guys ready? Let's get it. All right, guys, so right now I'm in front of my computer and we're gonna do this in three steps, three easy steps. The first step is to choose to pick one of the presets that exist already in the program, in the Final Cut Pro program. Now to do that, you have to go to the text and generator sidebar right here. You will see all the options here and you can choose one of your pre-existing text presets. And I'm gonna choose, let's say choose this splash ink right here, kind of like this animation right here. Press Q on your keyboard and it will be on your timeline as well, on top of the video that you have already on your timeline. So the second step is to animate this title. Now, if you want to mess around with the animation of this title, you have to go to the top right of the screen. Right there, of course, is the title inspector tab where you can manipulate and control all the published uh, parameters of this specific title. So go ahead and play around with your title, manipulate the parameters. I always say, don't just use the generic text or the generic preset, make it your own, make it your own because you are made to create. You are creative. This one, for example, this one that we picked today, uh, you can toggle on and off the building animation, the background, you can change the color of the ink, you can change the font of the text. You can do a lot with this one. You could even go the extra mile and play around with the keyframes. Let me know down in the comment section, guys, if you want to know more about the power of keyframe when it comes to animation. Now, the last step is to create a compound clip. But before you do that, make sure to put all the sound effects that you want to put with the title to make it sound more professional. I'm going to put my swoosh sound effect. Select the title and the sound effect and then right click, create a new compound clip and then name the compound clip, whatever you want to name it. Press OK and you will find your new creation under the date you created it. Now to test this, we're going to take another footage and we're going to put it on a new timeline and then we're going to put the new compound clip on top of it. So let me show you guys what I have on my YouTube video timeline. This is my intro, my YouTube intro right here. It already has its own sound effects, its own uh, animation. I don't have to redo that all the time. I just grab and drag the compound clip on top of my timeline. Just copy and paste, drag and drop or press Q. So anytime you have a video, anytime you're editing right now, if you want to use that same intro, you just have it right there. So the first step is to use whatever preset you have already, whatever text you have already, play around with the animation, create whatever you want to create, and then you add your sound effects, create your compound clip, and then you will have your preset. You know, guys, I know that presets help editing a lot, but in life it's different. You can't skip any step. Most of the time you have to go through the process and especially in your spiritual life, you have to experience or, or go through your own journey. You can copy and paste someone else's preset or someone else's experience. Uh, it's your experience with God. That's all I have for today, guys. And if you found some value in this video, push the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm really planning to give back more back to the community, the content creators out there to just share some of the uh, tips and uh, things that I've learned along the way. So um, subscribe and push that notification bell so that you will never miss any content from this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Peace.